Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you a different approach on base coding lures and it might make your lure patterns more interesting as well. And we're starting right now. Alright, let's talk about base coats. Now, base coats are not only that white or black layer that you put on top of a lure. A base coat implies everything from step one until you start doing details. Everything before that is actually working on the base of your lure pattern. So that could be a few colors. That could be that white on the belly, the black on the top, the blue on the sides. That all is still your base. So, with that said, there are two different ways to apply a base coat and the first way is what most lure painters actually use and a lot of manufacturers as well they apply one solid color and that's the base for instance if you if you like blue lures and you want to do a blue pattern on this one usually they will go white on the belly blue on top and they, these are two solid colors there's no texture in there no different shades it's just white and blue straight on but there is a different way to approach this and it doesn't ask so much more effort and that is simply by base coating uneven coats do not try to fully blast your paint onto your lure in one solid color just leave a little bit of an unevenness in there leave some blotchy spots a little bit more paint here a little bit less there go a little closer go a little further add some splatters to it and that will create a little bit more depth and texture in that base coat because you're going to do your details afterwards on top of that base coat so that unevenness is gonna blend in with the details on top so it's all gonna give it a little bit more of a natural feel right by having said all this let's put it to the test and I'll show you guys what I mean so I'm gonna start off with a little bit of white this is Vallejo Dead White it's a very easy paint to spray And that is no solid belly. There is still a little bit of a splatter. It's a little bit transparent. I'm gonna do the top as well. And as you can see, I'm just spraying it on there. Very unevenly. You see, you get this kind of blotchy, spotty effect. And that's how you want your base coat to be. You start creating texture from the beginning, from step one. And that is gonna add a little bit more of, in some, some, some way it's gonna add a little bit more of realism. It's also gonna add a little bit more of depth in your lure. It's gonna create diversity in your patterns. It is very useful and very easy to work this way. And you're still using the same paints, you're not mixing or anything, you're just using your paint in a different way. Let's do that tiny little gill plate too. Right, and now take some magic blue from Vallejo and we're gonna start to add our first base of blue. Now again, I'm not gonna shoot it on top of the entire lure, I'm just gonna play around with it a little bit. I just keep my distance a little bit and just spray a little bit here and there on there first. And then I, and then I add some darker spots to it. And as you can see you start to get a little bit of a texture in there, a little bit of diversity in colors, shades of blue and that that there is so much more interesting than that one solid color of blue that you could also have applied there this does take a little bit more time but with like any piece of art the prettier you want to have it the more special you want to make it the more time it takes so let's add a little bit more different shades of blue on there and you can also start playing with stencils adding some texture in there starting to build up those layers those layers and special colors in there this is just making it so much more interesting and as you can see right now I only used two colors white and one kind of blue and as you can see I already got different shades of blue in there I got some texture this little lure 
already looks very interesting. I might just as well just put an eye on there and call it done. But this gives you a general idea how you can create a lot of texture in there, a little bit more of realism by not applying these standard base coats with solid colors. Play around with your airbrush. There are no mistakes. Everything that happens by accident is actually gonna add some texture. So don't worry. Just spray a little bit more unevenly. Play around with stencils and different materials to shoot through. And as you can see, your lures are gonna look very, very different. And the same thing with when you start adding pearls like this Wicked Pearl Bright Blue from Createx. It's an amazing, nicely bright blue color. And also this one, you do, you do not need to blast it full on there. You can use some stencils, use freehand to just create a little bit of a texture in there. And let's darken that back a little bit with some more dark blue. Right, now I'm taking some Vallejo Gory Red. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a subtle fin beams on there. Because that fin totally disappeared. And as a last touch, I'm gonna spray a little bit of a color shift on there. This is from the shifters from Vallejo. Uh, this is the turquoise violet one and the nice thing about the turquoise violet one is that it is white but if you put it on a white surface or any other color then it's only gonna show the blue Alright, let's put a clear coat on this one and talk again a little bit about the theory of base coating. Alright guys, our lure is finished and as you can see, even though it's a very simple pattern, there is a lot of lifelike colors going on there. It's not just white and blue you can see on the back there are different tones of blue and that just gives it a lot more depth to it it gives a lot more realism and feel to this lure pattern even though it's not a natural color so do really play around with those different tones of the same color instead of using one plain color all right guys all i want to say is that this is just a suggestion. I'm not saying that this is the best way to paint your lures or this is the, the only way you should base coat your lures. I'm just saying that I'm trying to think a little bit out of the box here and trying some different things and I noticed that when you use these uneven patterns you, you base coat your lures in an uneven way you create a little bit more of a texture and, and realism in there because you layer on top details and everything afterwards so it's gonna be more in the background and even a simple lure as this one which is just white and blue even that can look really I wouldn't say realistic but it has a realistic feel to it and that's all I'm trying to say here so I'm not saying that this is the best way or this is the only way you should do it I'm just saying that this is an interesting way to do things as always guys I will leave a link in the description below of this video this will guide you to my web shop and if you would buy anything there then you support me and this channel if you got any questions let me know in the comments down below thank you guys for watching have a nice day and see you next time bye bye but with but with like any piece of art the more special you want to have it the more time time tame time blah, blah, blah which is an amazing color it's a nice bright blue bright blue <laughs> towards the end result no i am blabbling and i do not want i cannot express myself this way it's a very easy paint to spray there we go let's try this again